everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the puffed shell star stitch, which is this stitch that you see here in front of you. This is a very heavily textured stitch. It has uh, several steps to it in order to work the pattern, but uh, the overall effect is actually quite beautiful once you get the hang of it. So today we're going to learn how to crochet this stitch. I am going to be using the Karen Times Pantone yarn by Yarnspirations as well as a 6mm crochet hook. If this is your first time to my channel or you've been here before but haven't yet already, I'd like to invite you to subscribe. This channel is updated weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. So thank you so much for joining me. Why don't you grab your hook and some yarn and we will learn how to crochet this puffed shell star stitch. So for our stitch today, I'm going to confess this is a little bit more of an intermediate uh, crochet stitch design. It took me several times to get this right, so if you find that you're struggling after the first run through of this video, no worries. Uh, just go on back, keep trying, and eventually it will uh, become easier for you. The stitch design has five different rows, um, and then rows two to five will be the repeat for your pattern. So what we're going to do for this stitch, which is worked in rows, we're going to start by making our slip knot. And for this pattern, you will need a multiple of nine stitches plus two. So today I'm going to work a swatch with 29 chains. There's 10. There's 20. Twenty-seven, which is my multiple of nine, that I'm going to add two. For a total of 29. For row one, you're going to begin by working a single crochet in the second chain from your hook. So count in, there's one, two, and into that chain you're going to work one single crochet stitch. Next, you're going to work chain four, and you'll want to keep these chain stitches fairly loose in your chain fours because you are going to be working into them later. After your chain four, you're going to work the first of your puff shells. For the first one, you're going to yarn over and you're going to insert your hook in the next chain, yarn over and draw up a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook. You're going to do that for a total of eight times. So for not, uh, seven more times, you're going to repeat it, yarn over into the next stitch, insert your hook, yarn over and draw up a loop. Continue that. We want six more times. There's one, two. You're continuing to work along your foundation chain. Three, four, five, and six. So I've now worked into a total of eight chains. You will have 17 loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull that loop through the first 16 of those loops. You'll have two loops left on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through those final two loops. That is your per first puff shell. You're then going to chain four, keep these chain fours loose, and single crochet into the next chain. You're going to repeat that all the way across, chain four, and over the next eight chains, work a puff shell. So insert your hook into the next, yarn over and insert your hook into the next chain, yarn over, draw up a loop, do that a total of eight times. There 
there's five. seven and eight. You'll have a total of 17 loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through 16 of those loops. When you have two loops left on your hook, yarn over and pull through those two loops. Chain four and single crochet into the next stitch. Repeat all the way across. Chain four, yarn over, insert your hook and drop a loop over the next eight chains. Yarn over, pull through the first 16, two loops left on your hook, yarn over and pull through those final two. You'll have one chain left, so you're going to chain four and work a single crochet into that final chain. And that brings you to the end of row one. For row two, you're going to chain one and you're going to turn your work. You're then going to single crochet into that first stitch and chain nine. You don't need to worry about these ones being loose. After your chain nine, you're going to skip the first chain four space, skip your puff stitch, skip the next chain four space and into the next single crochet work one single crochet stitch. You're then going to repeat chain nine skip the chain four skip your puff skip your next chain four and single crochet into the next single crochet stitch. Repeat that all the way across. Working your final single crochet into that final single crochet stitch of the row below. And that brings you to the end of row two. For row three, you're going to chain one and turn your work. Next you're going to single crochet into that first stitch and you're going to chain four. We are now going to be working over top of our row two and into our row one down below. What you're going to do is you're going to work a half puff shell stitch. You're going to yarn over and into that chain four of chain of row one, that's where you're going to work that puff. Now for me to make it a little bit easier because I hate working into chain stitches, instead of working under both of those loops, I only work under the loop that is closest to me. So I would only work in the front loop. It's really up to you and your own personal preference how you would like to work the stitch. I find it just a little bit easier. So I'm going to yarn over and into that first chain of the chain four, I'm going to insert my hook, working over top of the chain nine, yarn over and drop a loop. I'm going to continue to do that three more times working along that chain four. You will have a total of nine loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through eight of those loops. With two loops left on your hook, yarn over and pull through your final two. That's your half puff shell. 
You're then going to chain four, keeping these ones loose, and into the top of your puff stitch of row one, you're going to work a single crochet stitch again over top of that row two. Just like so. You're then going to chain four, and this time we're going to be working again into those chain fours down below over top of our chain nines, but we're going to work a full shell. So the full shell has our eight legs. So we're going to yarn over and into that first chain and sometimes that chain pulls a little tight so you kind of have to force your hook in. You're going to yarn over, insert your hook, drop a loop, continue across the next three chain stitches. working over top of that row two. You're then going to skip the single crochet and continue pulling up your loops along the next chain four. One, two, three, and four. So once again, you're going to have a total of 17 loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over, pull through 16 of those loops, you'll have two left on your hook, yarn over, pull through those two, and that's your first full puff. You're then going to chain four, and into the top of the next puff, work a single crochet stitch. You're now going to repeat that again across one chain four, work a full shell stitch over the next two, uh, into the next chain four, two chain fours. working over top of that chain nine. Skip that single crochet, continue working into your chains on the next chain four. Seventeen loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through sixteen. Two loops left, yarn over and pull through two more. You repeat that all the way to your last chain four, and then you're going to work. Uh, so sorry, but first chain four, single crochet in the top of the next puff. Repeat that all the way across to your final chain four, where you're going to finish off your row with a half puff shell. So after you've single crocheted, you're going to chain four and work a half puff. So that was over four chain stitches over the next four chains. There's one, two, three, and four. Seven loops on your hook, yarn over. Sorry, nine loops, yarn over, pull through eight, two left on your hook, yarn over, and pull through your final two. You're then going to chain four. Sorry, you're not going to chain four. So after you've pulled through uh, those final two loops, you're going to work a triple or a treble crochet. So you're going to yarn over twice into the single crochet of your row one. So over top of the row two again, yarn over twice, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two more, and yarn over and pull through your final two. And that's all there is to row three. For row four, you're going to chain one and turn your work. Single crochet in that first 
stitch. You're then going to chain four, single crochet into the next single crochet. So skip your half puff shell, skip the chain four, and work a single crochet into the next single crochet stitch. You're then going to chain nine, Skip your chain four, your puff, your chain four, and single crochet into the next single crochet stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Chain nine, skip the chain four, the puff stitch, and the chain four, single crochet into your next single crochet stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way across to your final half puff and you're going to end with a chain four and a single crochet into the top of that puff stitch. And that brings you to the end of row four. For row five, you're going to chain one and you're going to turn your work. You're then going to single crochet into that first single crochet stitch and chain four. You're now going to work a full puff stitch over, uh, over your last row, so over your chain fours and your chain nines, and into that row two rows below you're going to work this full puff into that first chain four, skip your single crochet stitch, and continue into the next chain four. So yarn over into your first chain, insert your hook, yarn over, draw up a loop, do that all the way across that chain four, two rows below. You're going to skip the single crochet, continue working, so you're going to have worked into a total of eight chains. It's my final one here. 17 loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over, pull through the first 16, two loops left, yarn over and pull through your final two. Chain four and single crochet into the top of the next puff stitch. You're now going to repeat. Chain four, work a full puff shell stitch over the next eight chains. Skipping that single crochet in between, work into your next chain four. Seventeen loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through sixteen, yarn over, pull through two chain four, single crochet into the top of your next puff, two rows below, chain four and repeat. through 16, yarn over, pull through your last two. When you come to uh, that last 
full puff shell stitch, you're going to just simply chain four and work a single crochet stitch into the top of the puff stitch over top of that single crochet in the row below. And that brings you to the end of your row five. Now that's all there is to working this pattern. What you're going to go do is you're going to go back to your row two, which started with your chain one, single crochet, followed by your chain nine, single crochet, chain nine, uh, single crochet, chain nine. So that's what you're going to, to start with, chain two, uh, row two, then go through, repeat through to row five, that row that we just did, and that's all there is to working this beautiful puff shell star stitch. So thank you so much for joining me. Feel free to go back over that video a couple times, and uh, I look forward to seeing what you make with this beautiful textured stitch. So until next time, Happy crocheting. Bye.